You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Enriched with enamoring folk songs and dances, visual arts and music, Goa's culture is a beautiful harmonization of East and West and its citizens have taken the best of both the worlds. To celebrate this amazing fusion of two cultures, Goans host a number of festivals throughout the year. The Sao Jiao festival that was recently celebrated in the state is one among these festivities that pay tribute to Saint John the Baptist who was believed to have baptized Lord Jesus. Take a look. As the monsoon arrives, the entire state of Goa gets soaked in the festivities of San Jiao Carnival, one of the famous fiestas of the state. Held every year in the month of June, this Catholic festival is a part of Portuguese heritage and is celebrated in dedication to Saint John the Baptist, who, according to Christian scriptures, is said to have baptized Lord Jesus. During the festival, local folks and tourists jump into wells or man-made ponds to commemorate the leap of joy which St. John is said to have taken in the womb of his mother Elizabeth when Virgin Mary visited her. People also wear kopel, a beautiful headgear made of flowers, fruits and leaves and scream Viva San John to mark the occasion. Though observed across the state, villages of Kotalim in South Goa and Harmal, Baga, Sholim and Terekol in North Goa celebrate it with immense enthusiasm. Oh, it's really beautiful seeing so much colour and seeing so much culture of Goa being on display and people being out in the rain and enjoying themselves and yeah, it's been a lovely day. Boat parade in Sholim is the highlight of the festival that usually sees both visitors and tourists running into thousands. Held in front of St. Anthony's Church, it was first started in 1992 and marks the beginning of revelry in the San John Festival. With the theme, Love, Fear and Death, this year's boat parade saw a number of colourful floats like the one featuring football sport with FIFA trophy, another representing boat ambulance and many more with different ideas. We are celebrating Sanjao every year. This is the traditional Sanjao that is celebrated in Siolim. It is a boat festival and this cross which is here which is built by our ancestors of Badem and we are coming here to pay respect for it by putting this traditional kopel which I am wearing right now to the cross and to venerate him and it is a celebration that is celebrated. It is a fish that is uh, celebrated with great pomp and joy all over Goa because it is the fish of Saint John the Baptist that we are celebrating today. As part of the festival, locals also entertain visitors with folk dance performances and musical renditions. Food and drinks are other enticements of the San Jean festival, particularly Feni, a spirit produced especially in Goa that overflows during the celebration. Along with locals, tourists can also be seen enjoying this festival while dancing in rainwater, cherishing a fun-filled and colourful experience. It's the first time that I've seen a, a cultural festival like that and we've always wanted to explore Goa. So I think we came at the accurate most time 
uh, of the year because this is an annual fest and everybody is wearing those tiaras originally made by them at their home and it's just a really nice vibe and it's it's a nice festival everybody uh, sings goan songs and they dance their cultural uh, on their cultural music and their uh, cultural form of dance so it's just really a new experience and a good one a kaleidoscopic blend of indian and portuguese culture goa celebrates numerous exciting festivals that draw the attention of people from across the world celebrated with great enthusiasm and fervor these festivals in goa manifest the perfect mix of culture and heritage giving a refreshing experience to town dwellers as well as tourists india is a country where different religious communities reside together harmoniously A major role in bringing together people of all religious communities under one roof is done by the dargahs of Sufi saints which give out loud the message of communal harmony. So today we will take you to the dargah of Sayyidna Shah Amir in Agra city which has been serving as a symbol of communal harmony for years. The city of Taj is not just famous for its architectural wonders but also for having a heterogeneous population of different religious communities which portrays a picture of secular india playing an important role in bringing people of different religious communities together is done by the shrine of sufi saint sayyidna shah amir which is a board of peace and tranquility dargah sharif ke andar hamesha hamesha se hum aman ekta bhaichare ka paigham dete hain jisko ki national integrity kaha jata hai हम बल्कि कई सालों से मुझसे पहले मेरे वाल साहब और अब हम एक यहाँ पे एक मुहिम चलाते हैं जिसमें भाईचारे का बहुत मजबूत संदेश देते हैं और उस मुहिम के अंतर्गत हम सर्वधर्म सम्मेलन आयोजित करते हैं जो सालाना किया जाता है जिसमें कि आगरा के सभी धर्म गुरुओं को हम बुलाते हैं और वो अपना एकता और भाईचारे का संदेश यहाँ पे एक प्लेटफॉर्म से समाज को देते हैं The dargah has been present here for the last 382 years and it is said that no prayer goes unattended here. The dargah is thronged by more Hindu devotees than Muslims or people of any other religion. Forming an integral part of the public ethos for the last several centuries, even today the Sufi traditions play an important role in the lives of the people and connect them with an understanding of the world in all its spiritual dimensions. और यहाँ दरगाह पर ज़्यादातर लोग ये नहीं कि मुस्लिम ही आते हों या हिंदू भी आते हैं कल जुमेरात का दिन है आप देखिएगा बहुत मात्रा में हिंदू औरतें भी आएंगी बहनें ये सब लोग आते हैं और यहाँ से जो है अपनी मुरादें मांगकर उसका फैज उठाते हैं और सूफी संतों की सुलेकुल की नगरी में जो दरगाह हैं वहाँ हिंदू और मुसलमान नहीं होता इंसान और इंसानियत होती है और इसी लिहाज से ज़्यादातर लोग अपनी परेशानियों की अर्जी यहाँ लगाते हैं सरकार के दरबार में और रबुल आलमीन उनको पूरी करता है दी मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड ब्रदरहुड कम्स आउट लाउड फ्रॉम दीज दरगाह एंड दीज साइट्स हैव बीन एक्टिंग एज सिंबल्स ऑफ कम्युनल हार्मनी फॉर एजेस एंड नाउ अ राउंड अप ऑफ सम ऑफ द मेजर स्टोरीज दैट मेड न्यूज रिसेंटली Indian actor Ranbir Kapoor launched the trailer of his upcoming period action Bollywood film Shamshera in India's showbiz capital Mumbai. Kapoor along with leading lady Vani Kapoor and acclaimed star and antagonist Sanjay Dutt and crew members of the film attended the launch event. This would be the first time fans will see Ranbir Kapoor playing a double role. Iski inception hui thi jab main Aditya Chopra se pehli baar mila tha. Ji. And unhone ek core idea diya tha, share kiya tha mere sath. एंड उसको लेके मैंने और मेरी वाइफ एकता मल्होत्रा ने एक पूरा स्क्रीन प्ले और स्क्रिप्ट तैयार की जी एंड फिल्म का टाइटल जो है एकता ने सजेस्ट किया था और वहीं से आया एंड दैट वाज द इंसेप्शन ऑफ समशेर डायरेक्टेड बाय करण मल्होत्रा द फिल्म शोकेसेस द स्ट्रगल ऑफ अ डेकॉइड ट्राइब लेड बाय कपूर दैट हैज बीन एनस्लेव्ड बाय अ सिक्योरिटी ऑफिशियल पोर्ट्रेट बाय दत्त ऑफ ब्रिटिश कॉलोनिस्ट गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया द फिल्म रिपोर्टेडली मेड ऑन अ बजट ऑफ 19.2 मिलियन will hit theaters across the world on July 22. 
Pindra Pole Kaushala has built a six-story building to house birds in Jaipur. Built at a height of 60 to 70 feet, this building can accommodate around 2,000 birds. Arrangements have also been made near the building to provide food and water to the birds. This is 2,000 birds in the building. In the summer, warm and warm, this is all the things that are for them. In today's perspective, the big buildings are made in the building, but the birds are made in the building, or the birds are made in the building, or the birds are made in the building. The initiative is catching eyeballs on social media platforms and is being appreciated by many. And now we will take you to the 44th Ors commemoration of Lal Deen Sahib in Rajori district of Jappu in Kashmir which was attended by people of all religious communities. Take a look. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bonhomie between as many religions could be seen flourished and prospered at its best. The Dargah of Lal Deen Sahib, situated in the outskirts of the Rajori district, is one such melange of diversities. Situated in Strala region of Jammu in Kashmir, the shrine witnessed a rush of devotees on the occasion of the 44th Urs of the Sufi saint. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfillment ensues in them. Hindu भी आता है, Muslim भी आता है, Sikh भी आता है, दूर-दूर से यहाँ हर हर जात के लोग यहाँ आते हैं, हर मज़बूत के लोग यहाँ आते हैं, ये सब के लिए ये जो दरबार है, ये सब के लिए खुला है, यहाँ हर आदमी आ आ सकता है और यहाँ अमन का पैगाम दिया जाता है। काफी सारी ऐसी मसालें जो यहाँ वो लोग जो न जिनको कोई भी डॉक्टर ठीक नहीं कर पाया � Coming from far and wide, these devotees attended the prayers to seek the blessings of the holy saint. It is believed that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. A community kitchen or langar was also organized on the occasion where people of all religious communities sat down together and had their meals. सर देखिए ये हर सालों की तरह इस साल भी अच्छी तरह से यहाँ पे उर्स मुबारक बनाया जा रहा है ये हजरत जनाब किबला मियाँ लाल दीन साहब का चौंतीस या पैंतीसवा सालाना उर्स की तरह आज भी बनाया जा रहा है यहाँ पे हज़ारों की तादाद में अकीदतमंद आए हुए हैं और हर मजहब व मिलत के लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं इन शकीन से आते हैं फैज ले जाते हैं हर किस्म के फैज हर किस्म के फैज यहाँ से उठाए जाते हैं बीमार लोग आते हैं तो शफा पा के जाते हैं और किसी भी किस्म की रूहानी और जिसमानी किसी भी किसी भी किस्म की तकलीफ होती है तो इन जो यकीन से आता है वो फैज याब हो के जाता है Since ages, the Sufi saints like Lal Deen Sahib have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country, and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. Buddhist circuit in India houses temples and monasteries of high religious significances and it has evolved as tourist centers for not only the followers of Buddhism but also others. Various developmental projects have been taken by Indian government giving major infrastructure push for Buddhist circuit. India is the land of Lord Buddha, who lived for peace and spread the message of love. Before attaining Pari Nirvana, or getting freedom from physical existence, Gotham Buddha made a long journey in the country in search of knowledge. The Buddhist tourism circuit in India mirrors in India whose global brand projects remarkable destinations associated with Buddha's journey and teachings. The most revered Buddhist sites in India are Bodh Gaya, Vaishali, and Rajgir in the eastern state of Bihar and Sarna, Shravasti, and Kushinagar in Uttar Pradesh. The heritage is of great interest to the followers of Buddhism all over the world. And this is the primary source of motivation behind the government of India's fresh push to enhance these destinations, which truly project brand India. The Swadesh Darshan scheme is assertively promoting tourism of Buddhist sites. The initiative focuses on improving the connectivity via air, rail, and roads. The inauguration of Kushinagar International Airport 
by Prime Minister Narendra Modi was a major step towards connecting key Buddhist pilgrimage sites. Wonderful development because it will give opportunity for uh, Buddhists from the Buddhist countries to come very conveniently to the most sacred place where Lord Buddha uh, entered into Para Nirvana and uh, it'll make the Buddhist circuit tourism also very convenient. The sacred places, which attract thousands of Buddhist and non-Buddhist tourists every year, are now also connected by a special train. Launched last year, the Buddhist circuit train traverses through various pilgrimage sites of Buddhism and gives a peek to places like Sarna, Gaya, Kushinagar, and Rajgir, where Lord Buddha spent a great part of his life. The government has also launched different facelifting and redevelopment projects that are scheduled by this year's end. These sites currently receive a significant number of foreign tourist arrivals, with Sarnath and Bogaya leading the pack. Amidst the ongoing developments at the domestic level, India is also trying to revive the global Buddhist heritage. Just a few days back, India flew four holy relics of Lord Buddha to Mongolia for an 11-day exposition. Buddha's message of peace to the world in the form of relics were received with great reverence at the Ulaanbaatar International Airport in the East Asian country. This is a very, very special uh, uh, gesture from the government of India and the relics uh, which I have carried along with me, uh, the Kapu Kapil Vastu relics. Kapil Vastu relics are very, very special relics and four relics are being brought here. With various development projects, India is working on the message of widely respected spiritual leader Dalai Lama. The highest monk of Tibetan Buddhism says, share your knowledge. It is a way to achieve immortality. India is sharing the ideas of enlightenment that Lord Buddha has given, and this is a shining star of the new brand India. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The 12th ministerial meeting of the World Trade Organization concluded with a major diplomatic triumph for India as it successfully negotiated with the 164 member body to agree to its terms on key issues. After an extension of two days, the five-day grueling meet came to a consensus on food security, fisheries, and a waiver of patents of vaccine manufacturing, a humanitarian push prioritized by India. India's insistence on waiver for vaccine patents will come as a boon for poorer nations. The nations that suffered the brunt of the pandemic due to inequitable vaccine distribution will now have the ability to manufacture vaccines and not depend on vaccine handouts from developed nations. Bharat ka paksh bhoat samvedan shil paksh hai. Bharat ki baat bhoat fair hai, equitable hai, vishwa ke hit mein hai. और मैं समझता हूं कि आज पूरे विश्व ने ये स्वीकार किया है कि विश्व में और ज्यादा लोगों को समृद्धि पहुंचनी चाहिए। Apart from vaccines, India maintained a resolute stance on the regulation of ambiguous fishery laws that somehow allowed some countries to indulge in overfishing and illegal fishing in territorial waters of other countries. To the dismay of some, a stringent law will be framed to penalize the offenders. The third major victory came in the form of consensus on the support prices of crops. While the World Trade Organization has maintained the minimum support price under 10% of the value of production, India has been fighting for a higher minimum support price, keeping in mind the economic well-being of its farmers. It is to be noted that the World Trade Organization doesn't function like other global bodies, where issues go to vote when it comes to differences amongst its members. Even the smallest of members can veto a proposal. Under such circumstances, 
pushing a demand or proposal through is nothing short of a miracle. A 100% success rate by the Indian delegation is therefore an unprecedented triumph. And the credit has to be given to prudent and exemplary Indian diplomacy that is working hand in hand with the country's growing political and economic clout, steering its position from deal breaker to deal maker. In the exhibition, around 400 exporters and producers exhibited their produce to attract foreign buyers. Most of the exhibited products are free to taste. So our purpose to attend this uh, food event is uh, to, nego uh, to, to seek looking for possible negotiation with the Japanese, uh, at the most successful com one of the most successful companies. And uh, intention is to to provide Mongolian people in healthy and uh, the good organic foods. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.